As we continue on Hot Stove, we bring you a recent interview Meredith Morakovitz did with Trevino, who is now a fan favorite for the team he grew up rooting for. Jose, it's been a pretty exciting offseason so far for the Yankees. What's it been like watching all the moves go down? Uh, it's been great, you know, uh, getting our captain uh, back is, is, you know, it's good. He's a big part of what we're trying to do here. And then obviously uh, Rodon, that's huge. Uh, and then we added a bullpen arm. I mean, it's it's big. Uh, I keep hearing that we're not done yet, so it's exciting. What is it like as a player on the team as you see the Aaron Judge news, you see the Rodon news, you see mm -hmm. the signing of a bullpen arm and Tommy Canely? Is there a group text that you guys are kind of going back and forth and saying, we got this guy, Judge is back, we got this guy? We, I, I keep getting asked about this group text. Somebody must have let out the let out the news that we got it. We got a group text, but uh, yeah, I mean, every, every now and then someone will shoot a message on the group text, but it's exciting to hear, you know, uh, we feel like we're really close to what we want to do. Uh, and that's bring home number 28. So I think adding all these pieces helps. Now the Astros have been the problem the past couple of years for the Yankees. Do you feel like these moves level you guys out with the Astros, put you past the Astros? Yeah. I mean, the Astros are a good team. You know, they deserve, uh, every bit of what they did this year. Uh, they were a really good team, and uh, hopefully these moves can uh, can get us uh, up to their playing field, you know, and, and, and uh, get us to compete with them and, and, you know, move forward from there. When you were talking about Judge, you mentioned the captain. He was named the 16th captain of the New York Yankees yesterday. Mm -hmm. Any doubt in your mind that would happen? And what are some of the qualities you've seen that make him a good captain? Of no, there's... There's there's no doubt with that. He he deserves it. Uh, what he does on the field, what he does off the field, uh, what he brings to the to the team every single day, every single day. If it's an off day, every single day he brings something to the team. But he's, uh, you know, he deserves it. Um, some of the qualities. I mean, just you know, doing things where he doesn't have to speak on them. He just he leads by example. Uh, I think that's one of the biggest things. He just he does his thing, and you know, when he when he comes in a room, he's a he's a big presence. So uh, when he talks, you listen. Uh, but but other than that, he, he does everything good. What will you remember about his chase for 62? <laughs> oh, man, I, I think I tell everybody this story. Like, I, I remember sitting on top of a sitting on top of the railing and just like, all right, we know he's going to hit one. Like, let's just see how far it goes and what part of the field it's going to go to. Like, it was incredible. It was it was an awesome run. It would be great for him to make a run at it again. Uh, but I mean, baseball, you know, baseball's hard nowadays, you know, it's tough, tough to hit, um, especially in this era where guys are throwing a hundred with balls moving everywhere. And for him to do that during this time is impressive. You have actually played with Carlos Rodon before. So give us a scouting mm -hmm. report on him. What do you like about his stuff? I know it was oh, a long, long time ago, but he's gonna, yeah, no, it was a long time ago, a long time ago. Now that I think about it, but this dude's a competitor, like he's going to compete. He's going to compete every single time he takes uh, he takes the mound. He's going to compete, and I think he, I think New York's going to fall in love with him because he brings so much fire and so much energy, and he's always been like that. I mean, ever since I knew him in college, from now you know watching him play in the big leagues. I mean, he's always been like that to bring some fire. What did you kind of learn about him that you might not have known playing with him on Team USA? Oof, um, I would. I mean. Like just just how he goes about his business. I've heard some I've heard some good things about him. Uh, you know, talking to some some guys from San Francisco. I have a buddy over there, and he's just like, man, you're gonna love this guy. He he matches everything that y'all want. So um, I'm I'm looking forward to getting to know him more. When you look back at your 2022 season, what stands out to you from an individual standpoint? I mean, just being able to 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 learn on the run. Um, being able to adjust from being in Texas to New York. Um, and, and I always tell people like the, the pitching staff was, uh, was, was one of the hardest things like to get adjusted to, because there were so many new guys. There were so many new arms I had to get familiar with. And I'll always say this, like Higgy was back there helping me out every single day. Any kind of question that I had, anything that I needed, Higgy was right there. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the way I adjusted from, you know, hopping, from Texas to New York real quick on the run, on the fly, and trying to win some ball games. It seemed like you really loved New York. You, you really thrived at Yankee Stadium. What is it about New York that seems to bring out the best in you? Uh, uh, I, think it's, I think it's a few things. It's, it's wearing the pinstripes. It's knowing the legacy that's, that's there. It's knowing the tradition that's there of winning 
uh, and the fans, the fans bring that energy every single night, you know, uh, it's tough to go out there and play every night, but once you see the fans in the stands, you hear them, you know, chanting your name or chanting on the, on the guys, like it's, it gets you going. When you talk about the staff, who is the toughest guy for you to catch on that <laughs> staff? I know there are varying styles, varying speeds, velocities. Who's the toughest guy to catch? Yeah, no, I think, I think everybody has their own little, you know, their own little thing that they do, you know, from Nestor, doing all his movement and stuff and clay home sinker and you got Garrett's fastball, Garrett's slider. You know, I mean, you go down the list, Sevy's changeup. Like I can go up and down the list of guys. And I, I mean, I wouldn't say any of them are really hard to catch. I don't like to say that they're really hard to catch, but there are some tough guys that, you know, have some nasty stuff. What did the accolades mean to you? They mean a lot. Uh, I'm glad I got them. Uh, I think, I think there's one that I really, really want, uh, I'd, li I'd like to have a World Series. I mean, I've got, you know, the gold glove, the platinum glove. Those are all great. Those are great. But I think to bring home a World Series would mean a lot more. I know during the season, you're a big Derek Jeter fan as well. We saw him at the mm -hmm. press conference the other day. You got a pair of shoes signed by Derek Jeter too, right? Yeah, I did. I did. I, I bought them. Uh, yeah, I spent, I spent a nice little penny on them. But, I mean, it was worth it. It's definitely worth it. They're actually, I'm looking right at them right now. So, uh, they're sitting in a little cubby with his little, uh, with his ball that he signed and monument, you know, park that they gave away, uh, his, his, uh, Hall of Fame. Before I let you go, I know you had a little bit of a career day with your son. <laughs> Looked like you had some fun there. Just take me through that one. What, what did the kids think? What did the parents think when you walked in in full it, catcher's gear? All right, so I got to say this first. I learned a lot that day about with the other parents and how they presented. They did an unreal job, like, I learned a lot from those other parents. I was able to just come in and be like, I'm a New York Yankee. Like, it was pretty cool. Uh, I did go full head to toe. Like, I went spikes and everything. Belt, uh, mask, catcher's gear, eye black. Um, but, yeah, I think I think a kid asked me if I was an astronaut. Um, <laughs> fours and five-year-olds. So, he was like, oh, what uh you an astronaut? I'm like, no, I'm a, I'm a catcher. Uh, I get hit. I get hit in the mask. I get hit in the legs. You know, I catch the ball from the pitcher on there squatting. And, you know, I, I, I didn't think my presentation was all that well, but everybody else was really, really good. Like it was, it was pretty cool to, to watch how, you know, other parents presented and I was able to be like, yeah, I'm a New York Yankee. Like, check it out. You know, cool. all the kids were like, Whoa. So well, I'm sure your son loved it and all the kids loved it. And we know you have some stuff to get done before the holidays. So we want to thank you and wish you and your yeah. family a very happy holidays. Thanks. Jose. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas.